Today's video is going to teach you the key to stop throwing interceptions in Madden 18. What's up guys, my name is Cody, and if you're new to the YouTube channel, I just want to encourage you guys to uh, stick around, watch the entire video all the way through. The goal here is that my YouTube, YouTube channel exists to try to help people get better at Madden 18. We do that through different videos, different tips and strategies, and I try to focus more on the mental side of the game to try to really help you, give you tools that you can apply that are easy and simple. All right, guys, so we're talking today about not throwing interceptions in Madden 18. This is a topic that I've spent a lot of time on to try to figure out, you know, what what are the keys, right? Like really, in a nutshell, if I could boil it down to a couple of principles, a couple of things that really have helped me over the years stop throwing interceptions, there are a couple of keys that I can give you. The first thing that you can do, this is the number one thing that you can do if you want to stop throwing interceptions in Man 18, is to have a specific plan and execute the plan. Okay, have a specific plan and execute the plan. The reason that this is imp imperative uh, to your success in Madden 18 is because if you don't have a plan, your mind can't execute, you, you can't execute it. If you just come into a game of Madden, and a lot of people do this, if you just come into the game of Madden and you try to execute a plan that you haven't really made, um, it's not going to work. It's just not, okay? And it's never worked for anyone, okay? No matter what season of Madden, no matter what year, if you don't have a plan, you will not do it, okay? You you will not you will not be able to do this. You will throw interception after interception after interception because you number one, you 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 have no you have no predetermined thought. You have no target to shoot for. You have nothing, um, and so you just come in and run a bunch of random plays, and you wonder why you get beat. This is most people in Madden. Um, the next thing that you can do though, once you've created a plan. Um, in my opinion, there's there's another couple things that you can do. Oh, one one more thing on the plan though, real quick. This is just just a just a little bit more on this. The plan has to be very specific. Okay, um, a lot of people can make a good plan. The problem is most people cannot make the plan specific enough, and it ends up not really working for them anyway. Okay, so not only does it have to be a plan, but it has to be very specific, defined, well-defined plan. So, like for me, like I know that I'm going to run the gun bunch wide, probably 90% of the game, and I'm going to run PA post, Z spot, uh, verticals. Like I know, I know the plays that I'm going to run, and I know why I'm going to run them at certain times. Like it's so well-defined. Okay, and the better, the better defined plan that you can have, the better the plan will work. Okay, the more defined a plan, the better the plan will work. Okay, so that's one of the keys for me. That's that's been critical for me uh, is when I started really making a, a very specific plan, very very specific plan. Okay, the second thing that you can do is is to focus on the execution of the plan uh, once you've developed it. What a lot of people will do is with plan when they when they have the system when they develop the playbook, uh, what they'll do is they will start trying to add things as opposed to just either executing or removing, ah, as I throw an interception, that was a bad read. Um, they'll start trying to add thing as opposed to remove things. So what they'll do is they'll watch, you know, a video that's probably entitled the best route of Madden 18 or something like that. And what will happen is they'll get excited and they'll start trying to add things. So if someone says, you know, the in route is the best route in Madden, what they'll do is they'll add that to their scheme without even, like with no real reason. Okay, so what they'll do, and again, I see this over and over and over again in people, is they'll, you know, maybe they say the in route is the best route in Ben 18, so they'll start throwing in routes, and they think that it's uh, it's in stop, it's unstoppable, and they'll just throw in routes all game, and what'll happen is they'll throw an interception because they're forcing things, and, and all of it is because it was never in their plan to begin with in the first place, they got a, a video that saw that it was exciting, nothing is, nothing is, is mind-blowing, okay, and Madden, nothing is mind-blowing. If you watch Madden, if you go and watch competitive Madden, I've never seen anyone really blow my mind with their scheme. A lot of times it's their execution. So focus on the execution of the plan. Don't try to add things. Don't, like, just don't do that stuff, okay? That's that's really important. It's to stick to the plan once you have it. And, and really your focus, once you've created the plan, is trying to figure out 
how to execute it better. Every single game you should go through and ask yourself, how can I execute my plan better? Okay. Then the third thing that we have for you is to realize that you will make mistakes. So focus on this play alone. This is one of the common mistakes a lot of people make. A lot of people make this mistake. What they'll do is they will they'll make a mistake. So for example, earlier on in this game, I threw an interception and it was a really bad interception. I mean, it was I basically I I threw I threw the ball early. And this is another common reason why a lot of people throw interceptions is because they, they'll throw the ball early um, due to pressure or just because they get excited because the route's open and they won't um, they won't be able to hit it. Okay, they won't they won't be able to hit it as we can't tackle here. So so realize that you're going to make mistakes. So focus on this play alone. This play is the most important play. There's no other. There's nothing else. Okay. This is why it's really important. I talk a lot about eliminating distractions. You have to try to eliminate the things that are going to distract you in the course of the game, whether that's watching YouTube while you play Madden, as opposed to listening on one song for repeat. I find the best Madden that I play is when I watch or I'm listening to a, a music as opposed to um, watching YouTube while I play. Okay, so again, realize you're going to make mistakes, but it's critical that you focus on this play because again, like that that touchdown that he got, I made a massive mistake with my user and I ended up giving up a touchdown, and and now we're in trouble, right? Well, what I'm going to do is is in my mentally I'm thinking, okay, I've got 32 seconds and three timeouts. So that's how that's the mental game that you have to get to is you have to get over it whenever you make a mistake and you have to get on to the next play. And then the the, the on top of that, you know, kind of our fourth thing that I wanted to say to you is I wanted to tell you to focus on every play as if it were the most important play uh, of the game, because oftentimes it really is the most important play of the game. OK, that's that's really critical that you get that piece, because most people, what they do, what they what most people tend to do is is they will they will not focus until the chips are down. So, for example, like. They'll they'll make subtle mental mistakes, so they won't read the defense. They won't um, they won't look to see you know what the defense is doing and why the defense is doing what it's doing. Like they'll they'll just consistently they'll just have these mental breakdowns. Okay, every play is critical. Um, and again, you have to understand it's a it's a little bit of a a mental game to get to where not only is every every play is critical, but every play is not um, uh, every play is not life or death. So you're not going to die if you don't make the right read on third down. You still have fourth down. But the point being, you need to focus every play. You need to consistently read the defense. You need to do the, the couple of things that um, will make you better at this game. You do need to do that, and that is critical. But what I'm trying to get at is most people, they'll avoid the fundamentals of the game. They won't look at you know, what the defense is doing every single play. Are they in the 4-4 every play? Are they in the same alignment? Are they doing, you know, what are they doing? Can you define it? Can you clarify? Can you, those are things that most people, they just don't look at. They don't look at at all. And in my opinion, um, that would actually serve them better than anything else that I could teach, is if you actually take every play and you really play it like it's your last play. Okay, that that's absolutely critical. And then the last thing that I have um, down for, for throwing interceptions is, re is re repetitions. Um, you're not going to get better in one night. You're going to need time and repetitions. That's why I suggest running the same playbook, running the same formation, um, use, running the same system over and over and over again because it's going to give you the, the um, you know, kind of lavender rinse and repeat. That repeat part is critical. You have the plan, you execute the plan, you you know focus whenever you're down. But one of the things that a lot of people don't do, what a lot of people will do is they'll change the plan as opposed to repeat it. It's really critical that you consistently repeat this plan, okay? Whatever the plan that is that you have. So, and again, I have a plan that I have created for myself and for others. It's in the premium membership. You can find that in the description if you want to check that out. I also have other products there as well for you guys to look at. Uh, but the premium membership, in my opinion, is the best piece of content that I have created um, ever. So check that out. Um, that's kind of like my inner circle of Madden. If you're new to the channel, I uh, just want to encourage you that if you have any questions at all, I try to respond to comments within 24 hours. So please leave a comment with your question and, uh, and I will get back with you 